should never have listened to you. You said you were never going to find out. I'm sorry. Sorry that what? That I saw would bring him back? God, I hate ever meeting you! It seemed the only choice at the time. There's nothing either of us could have done. But there's a lot we can do right now. The question is, where do we start from? Start where it ended. And you think it's easy, right? Patience, my dear, patience, okay? The night is still young. You guys can go ahead and have fun. You there, Jones? <laughs> night stay young, where? When you be say we won't finish with one, make we go meet another client, say night stay young. We'll pay you whatever you're going to make with those other guys. Which one at one self? Three some but four some. Even five some self I already give. Slow down, them. slow down, slow down. That's not why you're here. You say we they give one kind line when I don't understand. That's not why we are here. So what do you make we come here? We can't look who she is. Tire. What do you make we come there here now? Tell me. Talk. Talk. Not us for night. Hmm. I said this alert till they shock me. Now some person they carry the jam local. Yeah? Now you they talk small small. Now this guy said they call real money miss road. Calm down. Soft talk. But wait. Mm. You saw say these guys not be ritualist. Ritualist, yeah. They be ritualist now. You never dare wardrobe they for make money. Eh, eh. Don't do. <laughs> but now. My problem is, see, mm. you should say this thing when they say make we do, we go fit to them. You should say we go fit stop this business. So. Maybe the problem, oh, I don't go fit to. They like me, they give me 100 million, I don't go fit. It's all day the body. It's not they used to me. Yeah. Stop waiting. I bet mean, make could you go. Stop. We'll finish the discussion for you. So, sis. Yesterday went really well. We were able to get two girls off the street. Really? Yeah. yeah. And, um, and sis, you needed to have seen the joy all over their faces. Are you sure they would not return back to that place? Absolutely. Are you sure? Crystal. Where are these children? Kenetuku! Grace! Yes, mommy. Come, but table is ready, I told you before. Yeah, 
Hey guys. Mm. We're waiting for you too. You know what? If you had not come now, I would have eaten my own and start with your own too. <laughs> I was looking at your turkey. <laughs> <laughs> So, Uncle, mm -hmm. when are you guys getting married? What? Junior's uncle just got married and his wife is so pretty. And you buy the lot of sweets and nice things for Junior. Mm. Because of that. I want someone to call Auntie too. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's really good. Well, um... You know what, I... You know... Uncle Chito here is yes. going to get married very soon. And he will not only give you an auntie, he's going to give you really two nephews and nephews to play with. So don't worry, huh? Don't worry. What about you? Him, Uncle Donald, is definitely going to get married. He'll give you loads of nephews, nieces, have loads of people to play with. Okay? <laughs> you get married first. Hey, I mean, it's all about finding the love of my life. Right? right? That's good. So, so if I see the love of my life first, I'll do it. Mm -hmm. Thank God. <laughs> well, we'll call that Dad and tell him the news. Okay, we're ready. Yeah, come on. Uh, uh, uh. What's the one to eat their food? What to eat their food? Yeah. Oh, mm. Anyway, mm. somehow they are right. Mm. Both of you are old enough to get married. Sis, sis, sis. sis come on, not you two, please. Are you sure you didn't ask them to ask us that question? I don't know what you're talking about. Are you sure? <laughs> uh -huh. All right. It's not water now, it's switch to the wine now. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie Chaplin. Don Z. Charlie Chaplin. Don man. <laughs> uh -huh. Charlie, so I have not seen you in so many years. And then you pop out from nowhere with the news of you getting married very soon. Well. I'm not getting any younger, you know. That's true, that's true, uh -huh. my brother. And after making all this money, mm. well, you can't eat it alone now. Okay. You need a woman who will be beside you, you know, supporting you. So after all the hustle and bustle of you the know. day, you come back to her. Uriaku now? But yes, Uriaku. Uh, Odoziaku. Odoziaku. Only Odoziaku. Only Odoziaku. Only Odoziaku. Don't do my man. My man. But you and your brother should actually start thinking in that direction, you know. No, no, bros, you must. Oh, Charlie, so because you are getting married soon, you have now turned into a life coach. Okay, I'm going to sit down. On I am again. On I am again. We know you very well. No problem. Since you have decided to keep flexing, to keep being in the fields. Okay, man. There's no problem. At the wedding, there will be lots of. Beautiful women. Pino Pino? Yes. Pino. So you will have a few day exploring. And all you just need to do is to come with the bag. Iman. All the Are you telling me that one? Uh, as long as the girls are there and they sign me up. I trust him. So um mm -hmm. how has business been though? How has it been? Uh, thank God. Mm. Just hunger. I go to Chigubu Mad. No, it's no. It's hunger in town. Charlie Chaplin. Hunger. You. A billionaire like you. Eh? I don't understand. Hunger no the catch billionaire. Oh, so let me let me understand. If you complain about hunger, what should I do now? The done. Eh, what should I do? <laughs> the done. What do you mean? What you're looking for is um, a gumbute. A gumbute. The one from sheep. A gumbute. A gumbute. Listen, listen, why did you will get it? You will get it. You will get it. Oh, he went to Thailand. Uh, he'll be coming back on Wednesday. Oh, okay. He went for a business. Um, uh, yeah. So, okay, here you go. Uh, me man, the usual champagne. Champagne as usual. Of course. Anything you need? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I won't mind. I won't mind. Okay, I will just tell the chef to fix something for you, man. You're yeah, welcome. This dog is. Charlie Champagne. Bloody hell, you're welcome. Bloody hell, you're welcome. My main man! Yeah, my man! He's a new man. You are a new man.
Chita, right? Right. And you are... Amanda. Amanda. Um, I met you at Charlie's wedding. You were with your brother. Right. Right. And you were with your friend. Um, Caria. Yes. Yes. Yes, Caria. Yeah. So, what are you up to? Oh, I... I was supposed to meet up with a friend here, but obviously I have been stood up. Sure. Anyways, I'm just going to leave. So I noticed you and I thought to say hi. I'll just leave. Yeah, I was waiting for my brother, but I mean, you could join me if you don't mind. Are you sure? Sure, of course. Okay. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Awesome. Um, so, um, I hope you ladies love this place. Sure, why don't you guys try it out? Order whatever you want. Okay, um, I think I'll go with the steak. Oh, uh, okay, no, I don't want steak. Uh, yeah. It looks nice though. Yeah. I'll do the lobster. Lobsters. Lobster. Mm -hmm. Home cooked meals, mm -hmm. especially him. Me too. I love home cooked meals. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> wait a minute. But I saw you the other day eating. Uh, yeah. Well, you know, I was famished. You know, I was waiting for this guy. You were eating out. Yeah. You know, it was just once in a blue moon. You know. <laughs> Points made. Uh, ah. <laughs> mm, well, uh, that was an exception. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no. Technically. I eat out, but not frequently. Um, That's it. Yeah. Okay. Can you cook? Um, uh, um, yes, we do. Yeah, actually, we went to a culinary school in Abuja. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow, that's that's really nice. Yeah. Well, yeah. I actually cannot wait to have a taste of your amazing cooking, right? <laughs> and we cannot wait to cook for you guys. <laughs> yeah. Yes. In fact, um, next week is Amanda's birthday. Oh yeah. How about we come to your place and cook for you guys? That's not a problem. That would be so, great. So where's the party at? Uh, no party. Nonsense. Really? Okay, we'll throw you a party. That's it. Oh, wow. That would be nice. Um, No, no. I insist. No party. <laughs> this is joking. <laughs> I mean, nice. what's the point of wasting all that money? Doesn't make sense, right? <laughs> Maybe some other time. Look, sweetheart. You're rolling with the big leaves right now. Mm -hmm. Okay? I'm showing you a small and classy party. I mean, that's the least that we can do. <laughs> Thank you, she'll be there. We will be there. <laughs> well, I insist. Maybe if we're still friends next year, you can sure. do that for me. <laughs> this is joking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. Chito, are you sure she's a good girl? Or she's pretending? What if she finds out how wealthy you are and decides to milk you? Trust me, sis, I know what I'm doing, okay? I mean, okay, I offered to throw her a party, right? Fund everything, and she said no. I mean, most girls would jump at that opportunity, so, I mean, it shows that she has some home training, right? Mm. If you say so. <sighs> I'm just worried about you and Donald. This plan. Don't worry, there's nothing to worry about. Okay? It will all work out. You see. Anyway, if you say so. I say so. So, when are you planning to bring her over? Ah, uh, well, sooner than you think.
Cut the music. Yeah. Okay, so um, I would love to use this opportunity with the people that care about you and that you care about the most present. Right? Um, Amanda. For a short while, knowing you is knowing happiness. I want to do the same thing my brother did. are the one that have stolen my brother's heart. I hope they are safe. Oh, yes, yes, ma'am. They are very, very safe. Yes, ma'am. They are safe. Thank you so much. Good to hear that. Uh, Uma, I, uh, I asked Amanda here to marry me. And she said yes. Well, I uh, equally Asked Karia to marry me. She agreed. <coughs> Are 
you okay, ma'am? Yes, I'm okay. Thank you. Actually, I just came in not quite long and I didn't want to disturb you since you were in the shower. Oh, You're always so thoughtful. <laughs> I know. You're such a sweet lady, you know. Thank you. Just sit down, my darling. Thank so, you. So how are you? I'm, I'm, I'm okay, I'm well. <laughs> you will, right? Yeah, I'm fine. You like that? I just had a shower, you know? I feel great. <laughs> <laughs> you should. Yeah. yeah. That's that lotion of mine. You know, Chito, I am still trying to wrap my head around why she would steal from me in the first place. I give her everything that she wants. There is nothing that girl lacks. Everything she wants, I give it to her. And just one simple test. She feels woefully. Calm down, bro. Okay, calm down. I mean, these girls, they've been in the streets damn near their entire lives, right? You can't expect them to change overnight. It doesn't work like that. And still in it comes with the territory. Yeah, Chito is right. You know, most of these wrong scale, they steal from their clients. That is how they'll make up for the bad treatment they mostly get. Do you expect them to change overnight? Which is exactly why I think you should postpone the wedding. What? No, that's... No, that's a bad idea. I mean, it's to keep them in the streets longer, you know? The sooner we marry these girls, the sooner they'll leave their old lifestyle. And what if they don't leave this lifestyle? But they will. Okay, have some faith, okay? Chito, your confidence in this girl is very admirable. So what if they don't leave? They will. Bro, have some faith, okay? Oh. <laughs> He's so confident about Yeah, that's some sense. You'll see a rise about them. Mm. Oh. Hey! I'm good. How are you? Yeah. How are you girls doing? I'm fine. Welcome. Sam, what is it with girls? Oh, it's in the car, okay? It's a surprise. Seriously, yeah. does it have to be a surprise? Yeah, it makes it better. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I heard you're getting married. Oh. Mm. And are we also going to be your flower girls? Yes. Yes. Well, okay. Uncle yeah, you guys are on Flower Girl Duty. Uh, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, we're going to get yes. What, what dress? Outfit. Yeah. Uh, what kind of outfit would you want? A sequence outfit. 
sequence. Ah, uh, sequence. Sequence. Sis. <laughs> what sequence? <laughs> Sis. What sequence? See so the way I'm looking at them. And you. Yes. Hills. Hills. You want heels? Oh, yeah. How old are you again? How old? Hey, you want to wear heels? Yes. yes. <laughs> I like this. I like this. I like this. That's nice. That's we'll, get you sequence, okay? we'll get to yeah, sequence, okay? We'll get to sequence. Yeah, whatever you guys want. Yeah. 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 Yes, we thank God for a very successful mm -hmm. wedding. Actually, one of the most talked about wedding in town right now. Yeah, babe. So this is officially mm -hmm. welcoming you two to the family. Thank you. Well, yeah. Thank you. You're welcome, <laughs> darling. <laughs> oh. Thanks. Um, you know what? You guys can relax. I need to go do my own. Listen. What? Yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. You don't need to stress yourself, okay? We have a dry cleaner and a chef. Maybe. Okay. Why, chef? Dry cleaner? What for? Sir. Then Carrie and I, we can do those. We don't need them at all. And that's final. Uh, uh, yes. Okay, okay. If that's what you guys want to do, no problem. You won. Good. But you have to also agree that we will join you in the kitchen and help out. Mm -mm. No. Uh, no. No way. Mm -mm. Okay. She no, said no. no. She said no. no. I want to help out. No. You, okay, he wants to. I don't know. No. Are you sure you don't want me to come? Please, no. Are you sure you don't want me to come? Go, go on now. No. I want to come. Baby, no. girl, go on now. No. I want to come. Oh, <laughs> Shout. Now twelve now they live here. Make up. Eh? Okay. Can you just stop? Oh, no go shout? Oh no go shout so oh. how you doing? Hey, skit! Okay, listen to me. I need you to listen to me. Can you listen? Are you listening? Yes. Please don't come out. Do you understand? I don't want my husband to see you. Hmm. Don't okay, okay. Step out from the room, please. Okay. Until I say so, do you uh, understand? Uh, hey! How you doing, my girl? Yeah, 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 yeah. Stop it! Can I do this morning? Let's put yourself together. <laughs> Babe, this is very delicious. <laughs> this is really sumptuous. Oh! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. You know, this actually took us hours to prepare. Hours, mm -hmm. several hours. <laughs> but I'm glad you like it. Yes. This is fantastic. Oh my God. Like, I'm actually looking for the bigger word to quantify this. This is this is amazing. Come oh, on. Thanks. I'm such a very lucky man. Oh. I have a beautiful and smart wife who can cook. You know what? This is this is actually a lot of men's dream. But I'm living the reality. Oh. I'm telling you. Thanks, sweetheart. This is really good. I'm telling you, this is so good. This is so good. <laughs> Thank you so much, babe. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. welcome. Chito is actually missing. <laughs> By the way, where is he? Um, he called me a few minutes ago. He's stuck in traffic. Oh. But don't worry, he'll be here soon. Okay? okay. Mm -hmm. Just eat up, what? Okay. <laughs> mm. I'm getting on the place, I'm telling you. <laughs> no, definitely. Yeah. Um, yeah, babe. Mm. Uh, before I forget, um, there's this cousin of mine from my mother's side. She needs a place to stay for a few days. Okay, what um, what happened to where she stays now? Um, babe, 
She doesn't live in Lagos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she just moved in a few months ago and just needs a place to stay for a few days. Yes, um, she, she stays in a hotel at the moment ever since she came for our wedding, you oh, know, ooh. and she really, really doesn't have any place to stay and also she gets a place to stay really, yes. So I'm just wondering, can she just, you know, come stay with us for a few days? Yes. Just a few days. Oh, sweetheart, I don't see how that is a problem. She can always come. I'll talk to Chito about it. Thank you. There are too many rooms in this house. Yeah. She can so always stay. Thank I you. promise you, you won't even know she's here. Yes, she's a good girl. Baby, you don't have to say that. <laughs> okay? Thanks, my Thank you so much, babe. Enjoy, enjoy your meal. Yeah, so can I tell yes, you this meal? Yes, yes. yes. Lodi. Don't say a word anymore. This is loaded. This is loaded, right? This is loaded. I can't wait. Christ. Why they call Papa Jesus today? Who are you? Nami Naefe. I'll be your wife, friend, sorry, cousin from my side. What are you doing here? Bros, I did for dream. Hunger, mama, me. My brother to do. I stand up and say, no! Before I person, my man go fight, what did I go to? <laughs> That's, that's not what I mean. What are you doing in my house? Shoo? Why are you young like that now? What do you say me she can me come? Bros, now wow. But she only told me that. She told me about you last night. That was like three hours ago. Eh, now the same three hours ago, I show. Eh? I've been watching day, watching day. Bye, boy! See my friend, the shop. Shop this one, shop this one. Fine. Rossi. What's in this? So no food for this house. For this big house, no food. With him, my guess, the chop. My God! Hey, baby. Yeah. How are you? I'm good. Yeah, you look good. Mm -hmm. I'm off to church. Oh, okay. Have fun. Have fun. You sound like you haven't been in a church. Uh, well, I have. You have? Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. Okay, so tell me, when last did you go to church? <sighs> when I was little, I used to attend church with my mom. When you were little? Mm-hmm. Goodness me, that's a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, so... Um, babe, is Chito not going? Tito is coming, yeah. He's getting ready. 
Tell you what, why don't you just go upstairs, you know, dress into something very nice and you can join us to church. I'll wait for you. <laughs> maybe, maybe some other time. Really? Yeah. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Uh, what about your cousin? Are you not going to church? Church? Ah, my church, no, they, they worry. Oh, okay. And uh, if it's not worry, you don't go to church? No, I don't fit. My pastor, ah, I don't feel offended, man. Ask him, I don't feel offended. That man, I know too strong. Yeah. Uh, worry. 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 Sure. Interesting. Cheeto! Cheeto! Let's go, we're late for church. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Okay. Pray for me, okay? Definitely. And you know what? Oh I'm my right? goodness. You look so <laughs> let me help you. So oh, let me help you just this. Shoe fine man. <laughs> <laughs> It's not airbound. It's okay, thank you. Shoo, check out easy. Let's see I don't have any side. I don't do a face, don't worry. Please. Yeah, we are going to be late, bro. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's go. <laughs> see you okay. later, okay? Fine, mm. bros. Bye. Alright, thank you. Bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs> if it's everything, now why no? Eh? Eh? Bego. Let's see. Shoe. Oh, hi. Hey. Hi, boy. <laughs> Are you okay? Oh, yes, 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 my waist. Oh. You sure? Mm -hmm. You good? My waist. Oh. Huh? Don't you like me or don't you like what you see? What do you mean, don't I like you? I love your friend, okay? I'm in love with your friend and you're here. I don't know what you're trying to do, honestly. Why would you do this? She trusts you. <laughs> wow, well, if it is nonsense, something will bother me. Trust you, to go to the salon to get my hair done, my nails, spa. Can I borrow your car, please? Of course. Really? Of course, babe. And um, my car is somewhere on the dresser. You can also grab that, you know. Pick a shoe or two from the mall. Are you serious, babe? Of course. Oh, my God. Hello, Paul. Yes, how are you? Okay, I called earlier, um, but um, your PA, Suleiman, took the call. All right. Yes. Okay, that's good. Um, I want you to do this for me. Your PA should have taken these orders, but I did not want him to do it because I want you to handle this yourself. I don't want any mistakes. All right. I want two SUVs. Yeah, the Benz series should be, that should be okay. Uh, 2021 model. I want two, yeah. One for my wife and then um, one for my brother's wife. Please, Emnevor is a clean one, brown, new. Okay, I trust you on that. Okay? Yeah, it's for my wife. One for my wife and then one for my brother's wife. All right. So please make sure it's a very clean one. All right, it's a surprise. We want to surprise them. That's great. Okay, so um, you have to deliver to the house, okay? 
And then when you're coming, come with the receipt so I can do you a transfer. All right, yeah? I'll be expecting you. Okay, take care. Oh, Mom. Don't kill me. Huh. Charlie Chaplin. This is unbelievable. Six months already. Six months into your marriage and you are divorced. Ah, wasn't it something that you and your ex-wife could have, you know, settled amicably? Was it that bad? It was that bad. In fact, it was worse than bad. Uh -oh. She wasn't what she presented herself to be. She was just after my money. Bro, did you see any warning signs before the wedding? At all. No red flags? I didn't, at all. She was good. I'm telling you, she was so good. She was an angel. And then, boom, all of a sudden, she started showing her true self. You guys have to be careful with your wives. Those girls. Hey, hey, hey no. <laughs> Leave our wives out of this, okay? Our queens are nothing like your ex-wife. I'm telling you. Charlie, listen to me, yeah? Our wives, they are angels. Tell me. I'm telling you, they don't even ask us for money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm telling you. What you offer them? Well, let, me, let me guess. They talk about things they need in front of you and you fix it. Yeah, that's our job as husbands. But that's their game. That's how it's played. They make you do things for them without you knowing it. Right, these girls are, they are something else. They are all the same. They are bad news. Mm -mm -mm. Alibatu, calm down. Relax. Look, just because your ex-wife turned out to be a gold digger doesn't mean every other woman out there is a gold digger. My guy, these girls are all the same. I know what I'm telling you. Eh? They are all wired the same way. They are all on the same WhatsApp group. They are all of the same boats. The same blood runs through Alright, stop, stop. They are stop. all on the hey, WhatsApp bro. group. Bro, I will not have you insult my wife in front of me. Okay? I will not have that. It's not every woman that's loose. Please. It's alright. Let's just let's just um, let's let this go, okay? Okay. So we don't stay up unnecessary um, temper, okay? okay? Uh, okay. We have to leave now. Hmm? Hello? Okay, we're coming. We're coming now. We're coming. Why did it happen now? Ife, can you stop being dramatic and tell us what happened? You see that man, Mr. Sam? Ordinary 200,000 way, promise me. Till now, I never see shishi. Afu! The Kobo. same Mr. Sam. I beg Amanda Shu. Are you still seeing him? Hmm. I, I thought you guys were not seeing him. The one where they pay me pass now, be say. Hold the knack. All the rig my room, why don't stop this man? One night I never see. Fadin! I no see. One night. Ah. Are you serious? If I saw us pass it like this, now, now coma. I beg my sisters. How now they do them? How now they carry do them? Do what? I don't understand. See, Nana, see life. I beg help me cut soap. Cut soap for me. 
<laughs> I don't understand. How now they do? Even if not small soap, cut soap. Cut soap for me. Shh. Hey, baby. Hi. Uh, yes, baby. How are you guys? Oh, yeah, we're home. All right, see you soon. Okay, bye. Hey, you see? Shh, Amanda. Mm -hmm. ah, the ones are coming back. Yummy. Drop it, drop it, drop it. Hey, what is the perfume? Hey, you don't know what you drink. Hey, what? You know that you're not a drink, you're a smoke. Shh. Hey, hey, hey. Smoke, go brush, smoke, go brush. Did you get talked down? Mm-hmm. Everywhere's okay. Because okay. you're not so for me. This girl, where would they go? <laughs> Worry. Worry. Fine, boy. Wait till they play now. Stop. Come here. Stop. Come. Stop. 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 What? No, no, stop now. Wait till they play. I'm fine. How mm. are you? I tied to my corner tight. How fun. I wear your white coat. Can you can you actually sit and not touch me, please? Okay. I will try. <laughs> <laughs> My wife and Amanda went out for grocery shopping. <laughs> well, okay. You say? <see? laughs> uh, they don't go around one or two. But me will run at uh, Unsha. How you say? You say, wait, eh? Eh, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, wait a minute. Mm. You said they went to run one or two. What do you mean by that? Where did they I go to? I beg you to do. My mouth will want here say, or basket, Abby. No, I don't. Are you serious? How fun! Stop, stop. Do our own. No, no, it's okay. It, it, it's fine. I'll get out. Uh -uh. Stand up and. What's the word you Stand up and get out of my house. Uh -uh. Calm down. Effie. See, calm. You calm down. Take it easy. No go. Are you okay? Are you normal? You think I'll get freaky with you, right? Freaky, freaky. Okay. Get out of this house. Me? I beg you, don't. Hey, you You know, my first instinct was to go there and confront them. But that would defeat the purpose. Now that we're here, what do we do about it? You know, I thought they only did that because life was hard for them. You know, I thought if we gave them everything, treated them like queens and, and provided them with more than enough that they would see no reason to do that, you know? It's not always the case. A handful of them went into it out of frustration. Some of them just choose to live that lifestyle, and you can't blame them for that. So who's to blame? Society? Exactly. Sometimes bad parenting, peer pressure. Some of them just love to live that way. You know, I'm beginning to think that we made a very big mistake marrying these ladies. Hey, they would never ever change. There's nothing that we haven't done for them, but they are just programmed a certain way. Not necessarily. You don't give up just yet. What? What? You think there's hope? How? Well, you guys have tried yours. Just let me. You have a plan? Baby. Open your mouth. Uh -uh, uh -uh. Oh, uh -uh. babe, babe, please now. No, no, no. Please now, just eat so that the medicine no. will work. Please now. Uh. Oh, please now, just, just little, just little. Baby, please. Stop, stop, stop. What do I do now? Please, just eat now.
Hello? Doctor, he has refused to eat. He has refused to eat. What do I do? to eat anything I cook. How about Dundee? Hmm. Same thing. He throws up anything that goes into his mouth. I am really worried. What do we do? Let's take them to the hospital. You refused? You said he's not going to the hospital. Nonsense. We are taking them to the hospital right away. Okay, I'll call Maneria so that she meets us. That's fine. Stay them. No, no, no. What's going on now? What's going on? I'm not understanding this. All the tests show that he's fine. Ma. How can he be fine, doctor? Do, do, does he look fine? Do you see? Tomorrow we'll carry out more tests. Oh. Doctor, please. Let's just carry out another test tomorrow, honestly. I don't want anything to happen to my brother. Uh, they're all I've got. Let me go and see Donald. Please. No problem. Thank you, doctor. Hey. What kind of thing is this? He's running temperature. And doctor is telling us that all the tests carried out here is fine. I don't get it. I want to run. Doctor, come on, come on, come on. I think this is a spiritual case. The doctors have tried their best. We need to try another means. So, what are you suggesting? I know a man who is a specialist in this kind of cases. Even doctors take their patients to him. He has a wealth of experience when it comes to traditional medicine. You mean a native doctor? Uh, well, well, something like that. But the difference is that he uses only natural means to heal his patients. Chito will never visit a native doctor. Never. And I don't think Dundee will want to compromise his fate. And where has his fate gotten him now? Enough. Thank you for your suggestion. My brother will not visit a native doctor. Our God will do all things. Our God can do all things. By his stripes we are healed. Amen. Let's take them to church. That's an excellent idea. I'll call our church pastor and inform her. I'll tell her about their condition. Oh, that's what I would have done all this while. Hmm. This is not a matter for science. So, Pastor, what's wrong with them? What plagues them comes from within. Within? How? All of God's children are special. Brother Shito and Donald are one of the very few with a calling. Calling? Like... They've been called to become pastors. Not necessarily. When God calls, there are many ways to serve. Your husband and his brother chose to serve the Lord through their acts of service to humanity. Pastor, if they are working for God, why would God allow this to happen? My dear sister, his ways are not our ways. And every act of God has a purpose. What purpose? Because I don't understand. Sister Amanda, do you love your husband? Yes, I love 
my husband so much. We love our husband. Then you must do the right thing. Right thing? You need to change your ways before your husband can get well. As you can see, you can deceive me, but not God. He knows all and sees all. Are you saying they are the cause of my brother's illness? God loves them. He wants to bring them close to him. How can you say he loves them? How can he love them and do this to them? How can he love them? His ways are not our ways. My brother said they want to help girls off the street. I knew it was not going to be easy, but I supported him because of what happened to our sister. You had a sister? Yes. The first child of our mother. She died before she turned 20. Don't they never told me? We don't like talking about it. What happened to her? When our parents died, we didn't have anyone to take care of us. You see, I my, my father mind. lived a rough life. Yes, your service is so not all his family was cut off from him. But we had an agreement. So and you're my big it. sister assumed Assume the rules of I said your service is not worth it. father to us. Please, she I did got... the only yeah, thing she thought she could do I to help know. us survive. She sold her body. To... Now say I won't give you. Now say I won't give you. Now say I won't give you. Forget. To put food on our table and a roof over our heads. We hopped on the street. We witnessed everything okay. street kids Wake go through. Up. From kidnap oh, side, to by. rape and all sorts of abuse. Too fast though. Two years into it, she contacted disease and died. Our mother's brother took us in. They raised us. Then, my brothers vowed, they vowed to take girls off the streets, hustling girls. I never knew their mission would lead them into marrying street girls. Do you understand what I mean? Um. Um, so, uh, what, what do we do before it's too late? 
I'll think of a solution. I'll get a solution to it. Yes, Lisa will help to take care of her uncle while you stay with me. She has the hospital number on speed dial in case of any emergency. Um, how long do we have to stay with you for? As long as it lasts. The sooner they get better, the sooner you come home. Let me get this straight. If we stay, they might die. But if we leave, they may get well. Exactly. Yeah, but why do we have to go to your place? We can go somewhere else now. She's only trying to help. It's fine, Amanda. My dear, I don't like this any more than you do. I just want to see my brother get better. All right, mommy, let me go to the guest room. Thank you, dear. Good morning. Good morning. Aunt, please, where's Rachel? Oh. She went to the market. Ankara, can you make me omelette, please? Oh, and sure. me too. Ah, two omelettes coming right up. Thanks, <laughs> Auntie. You're welcome. Do you know how to make omelettes? Have you made omelettes before? I wonder, chill. Besides, they are children. They don't know the difference. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, two omelettes. Coming straight up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this, this, this tomato is okay. It's not enough. I won't. Eat now, eat, eat, eat. Very nice. I took my time to make it. Yeah. Auntie finished work with this food and she brought in her best culinary skills to no. cook. Ah, you tried though. Mm -hmm. Ah, ah, omelette. Oh. Ah, good afternoon. Welcome. Welcome. Oh, you, you want more water? Is it too pepperish? Who prepared it? Us. No, 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 it's she. We asked her for omelette and she gave us this. Oh, you asked for omelette and I gave you this? Yeah, this. It's nice. Mm -hmm. It's nice, mm -hmm. eh? That is too much. Mm -hmm. Put some pepper. Okay. Sorry. Sorry, eh? You prepared this. Come, I'll prepare you something else to eat. Uh, 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 Mommy, it's not okay. Please, just excuse me, please. Eat that one or eat that one. Phone call. What did you do? I can't do this. This is too much for me. You can't do what? What's too much for you? Eh? So what do you intend to do now? Go back on the street and hope to jam one money missed road in another wedding? I don't know. Maybe or maybe not. All I know is I can't stay here and stand this humiliation. What humiliation? Eh? Maybe all you need to do is just change and be a better person. Think about it. There is nothing to think about. Jeez. So what do you really want? I need a, I need a smoke. I need a drink. Girl, you are selfish. You're selfish. These guys have given us everything we could possibly be asked for. They took us off the street despite knowing our past. Giving us money, luxury. Cars, houses. And here you are. What else do you want? What else do you want? See, if you want to go back on the street, you are on your own because I'm not going with you. You're selfish. And you're not thinking right now. I am leaving. Go. I am leaving. I'm not staying. I'm leaving.
Hurry up with it, Richard. Hurry up. Amanda. Um, can, can I help with anything? Can you slice onions? Yes, sir. Okay. Start with the onions. Okay. No, 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 come. Stay here and slice it. Remove the skills, then you slice. Okay. Thank you. The peel. Yes, okay. and slice. Hello? Hi, James. Um, yeah, um, please, are you in town? Oh, perfect. Um, please, I just need somewhere to crash for a couple of days. Yeah. Oh. Okay. That's fine. No problem. Thank you. Yeah. The Lord is robed in majesty and armed with strength. Indeed, the world is established, firm and secure. Your throne was established long ago. You are from all eternity. The seas have lifted up, Lord. The seas have lifted up their voice. The seas have lifted up their pounding waves, mightier than the thunder of the great waters, mightier than the breakers of the sea. The Lord on high is mighty. Your status, Lord, stands firm. Holiness adorn your house for endless days. Amen. Uh, we want to go and join Rachel to learn how to cook jollof rice in the kitchen. Really? Yes. yes. Oh, that's nice. Okay, yeah. then. Yet, <laughs> as I'm speaking to you now, they are in the kitchen with Rachel, learning how to cook. Yes. Guess what they were doing before then? They were reading the Bible. Honestly, I didn't know it was going to work this fast. But it's working. Yes, it's working. Everything is working out fine. We have to move over to phase two now. Yes. Everything is working according to plan. So tell me, how is my baby doing? 
Okay then. Let me go and see what they are doing. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Bye. I'm doing okay. I'm just here, not doing much. Watching TV, talking to you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Your baby is doing all right. She's playing cards with her uncle. Yeah. And she's whooping his ass, actually. <laughs> she didn't get lucky or anything. <laughs> she's whooping your ass. <laughs> No, I can't put her on oh, the phone right now. She's very busy, okay? No, take the Okay, okay. okay. hey, I'm picking your tea. Yeah, no, she's very, very busy. I'll have her call you back. Hey, no problem. Let's go to. Okay, I'll see. So, all right. Oh, yeah, you're so long. Oh, okay. Generally. Okay, you take care of yourself, okay? <laughs> nice one. I'll call you back later. <laughs> Don't go and bring white woman for Rosie. No, sorry, never. Amanda, Karen, come. Come and meet my brother-in-law. He just got back from the United States yesterday. Hello, uh, beautiful ladies. <laughs> nice to meet you. I've heard lots of amazing stuff about you guys. Uh, mm, nice to meet you too. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Come. <laughs> uh, Maxwell will be staying with us. Yeah, just until my place is fully furnished. You know I can't stay in an empty apartment. And sis here will let me stay at a hotel. Hotel? For what? Well, this whole house, I mean, who is here? This house your brother built for me. You're going to stay here with us. Please just come move over. Speaking of my brother, he really misses you and the kids. So he said. Let's see. Let me tell you. Please get us something to eat. Send me to you. Eat. <laughs> And since you know, speaking mm. of my brother, mm. he misses you and the kids so much. Mm. Oh, he'll be back by the summer, though. So he said, Let's see. I need you. I need you. I've missed you, too. Same here. How have you been? Fine. I'm, I'm good. good. <laughs> wow. Um, hey. Hi, um, she told me to call you that dinner is ready. Join me. Join me. Good. How about we get that food? Mm, sure. I knew it was all an act. A leopard never changes its spot.
Yeah, that's that's how it just happened. <laughs> that, yeah. Nothing. Is, yeah. Breakfast is ready. Oh wow! Oh really? Yeah. Oh, wow. So are you guys ready to eat? Why not? Oh, yeah, yeah, but you eat. know what? Say something actually. What? We're discussing about. Okay, that's mm. true. I just. Oh. Lisa just called. He said Chito's condition has gotten worse. Oh my God. He went into coma before the ambulance came to the house. No, I'll, co I'll come with you. No, you go back to what you are doing. I'll make sure nothing happens to my brother. Let me help you change. Come in with you, sis. Uh, hey, Bodo. Hi. What do we do now? Let's go, let's go with them. Okay. I should never have listened to you. You said you were never going to find out. I'm sorry. Mm. Sorry that what? The sorry will bring him back? But he's not dead. He's just... He's just what? Sleeping? Gosh. I should never have listened to you. I hate you, God. I hate ever meeting you. I hate ever knowing you. I hate ever having anything to do with you. I'm sorry. Ma, Ma, I am getting a divorce. I cannot continue like this. I am exhausted. You have tried. It's not your fault. They cannot change. I don't even know why we embarked on such a foolish mission. I mean, it makes absolutely no sense now. All that energy that we spent trying to make these girls better human beings, all of them could have used it for something better. But there are a million girls out there that are good. A million of them. We could have picked just one, right? So what are we going to do? They are not going to stay in my house. They'll go back to where they came from. Yeah, or better still, they can go to join their, what, what's that, their friend again, yeah. Effie. Join, join her whatever swamp that she's living in right now. We are done. Now that you have accepted our Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, you are new, Bishop. Sure. All things are passed away. I must remain in the past. Everything about your new life must represent Christ. That means you must give up old habits of drinking and smoking and everything else that does not represent Christ. Thank you so much, Pastor. You do exactly as you said. Hello. How is it going? Good evening, Good evening, Please forgive us. We will never smoke, drink, or misbehave anymore. Yes. Please find it. Please be. Please forgive us. We're sorry. I've been a terrible wife. And you have been the best husband I could ever ask for. I know I don't deserve you. But... Oh, please. If you must punish me, please don't end our marriage. you to find it in your heart. This heart that once loved me. Forgive me. Please, my husband, I beg you. My king. Please. 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 
don't begin to find it in your heart to forgive me. Please. <laughs> When we went to the pastor to tell him to pray for us forgiveness and pray to God so that you wouldn't die. He said you wouldn't die. He said God is a merciful God. He said God would not let you die for a sin that you did not commit. Thank you, babe. Forgive me, please. Amanda and I was going to change after the wedding, but... <laughs> please forgive me, please. Please, please. <laughs> I will never forgive you if you ever Stray again. I would. I, I would. I, I promise that I would be a good wife to you. I promise I would never disappoint you. I promise. I promise. I promise. <laughs> it's okay. I want a divorce. Okay. I know I betrayed you. explain everything. My father left my mother. He followed an older woman to America and we never heard from him again. My mom was left to fend for me all by herself. She did a great job. How did she feel sick? I had to take care of her in the hospital. It was hard. That's when I got introduced to the street. Then I met Kyria. She was a street girl. That's the only life she knew. And then she taught me everything. When my mom passed, Kyria was all that I had. All she had. We learned how to work our clients by studying them and knowing their weaknesses. So, when he came into the picture, 
We knew you were about rehabilitating prostitutes. So, we capitalized on your weakness to our advantage. Right, so I was just a job to you, huh? That's what it was, I was just a job. Right? Initially, yes. But then I, I, do, I developed real feelings for you. I did. I tried. I tried to change. But it was hard. Even career. I mean, we've lived this life for so long that even when we tried, we couldn't. We failed. Because we're relying more on our strength than on God. Chito, I'm sorry I hurt you. I'm sorry for everything I did to you. I'm so sorry. I don't deserve you. Amanda, wait. Before she leaves, I want you to hear the truth. What truth? She did not sleep with Marcel. What? Yes. I thought she did when I saw her coming out from his room last night. But Marcel just confirmed that nothing happened. She didn't let him touch her. That's true, bro. I mean, I don't know what she must have done, but she really loves you. Is it true? I couldn't. Even when he offered me 10 million naira, I said no. Chito, I love you. I really do. I think our work here is done. Totally. That perfume you were wearing the other day? Oh my God. Yeah, I know. And your hair was smelling like it too. Did you notice? You probably didn't notice that I was smelling your hair, so. Um, yeah, why don't you go wear something nice, okay? Yeah. No, 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 I'm on my way. I'm getting ready right now. You know I'm coming. What's going on? Woman, go to sleep. Babe, I'm not sleeping. I'm honey. I've missed you. Mm. Will you stop it? What's going on? You haven't touched me in two weeks. Where are you going? Wait, wait, wait. Where are you going? Well, to? since you don't want me to sleep here, I'm actually leaving this place for you. 
so I can go and find somewhere out of this house where I can find sleep. Please. Oh, baby, oh, baby, you can't do that now. It's late. Since when did you start caring whether it's late or not? If I'm not mistaken, this is the time when you function properly. You go out all hours and you return in the morning. So why are you bothered? Then Christ found me. I'm a changed person now. Please come to bed. Don't wait on me. Go to bed. He's always in a hurry to leave the house. Worst of all, he talks to the girl right in front of me. He doesn't have any regard for me. Ma, Dondi doesn't even talk to me. He doesn't eat my food. He doesn't even make love to me. Yes, you know, look as if I'm living or married to a stranger. It's not fair. I really don't know what to do. But I think it's God's way of punishing us for all our sins. For everything that we did to them. And we are sorry. God forgives us and gives us a clean slate. God doesn't punish us for the sins he has already forgiven. I think this is just the devil trying your fate. For me, eh? If Chito sleeps with another woman, me, I'll just kill myself. Oh. How can he cheat on me? They are already cheating on us. And I'm very sure of it. Can't you see? We need to find a way to get our husbands back. Yes. Yes. Yes, we need to. Don't worry. I'm going to get the pastor involved. And I'll talk to them. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate it. You know, there's a certain elegance that comes with a lady that's kind of tall. You know, your legs go on forever. It's beautiful to look at. Wow. Flatter me so much, babe. I'm not flattering. It's real. It's the truth. Hey, make yourself comfortable, okay? Okay. Then go get some cash. Don't take so long. I won't. I. Excuse me? Oh, wow. <laughs> Excuse you. No, you, did you look around here? Did you look around? Did you see that? This is a married man's house. Did you see that picture? Did you see that picture? Oh, hold on right there. Uh, for real. Okay. If you love yourself, if you still want to look like this girl, we don't use cream, start our body. Get out of my husband's house right now before I'll finish it. I see the dog. He's sitting, 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 but because I know nothing is impossible with God, I agreed to play along with them. As it turns out, it worked wonderfully. And the Holy Spirit took control of your hearts and lives. Now look at you two, bouncing in the Lord. Yes. We are now in the Lord. But the tables have turned on us. Her husbands are now the wayward ones. 
<laughs> this is coming. <laughs> no, sister. Your husbands are no wayward. They only did everything they did to test you. Test? Pastor, test? She don't brought a girl into this house. You brought a girl into this house. Babe, that girl was paid to act as my girlfriend for a day just to make you jealous. Okay. How about all the late night phone calls? They were fake, okay? I could never hurt you like that. Look, everything that we did was just measures that we took to test you two. No, you didn't. You refused you to. Thought. Listen to me, trust me. It was all an act. It was just an act to test you two. You knew all of this and you didn't tell us. Oh, beyond all reasonable doubt. I am sure. Otherwise, you would have gone back to your old ways. But instead, you came to me complaining. Thank you very much, sis, for all that you've done. And thank you, Pastor. I appreciate it. Honestly, we don't know what we would have done without you two. Don't mention, brother. The Lord is happier with you for bringing back his daughters back into the fold. Let us pray. <laughs> <laughs> 